Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this side tip fringe look using New Genesis Dip Powders. The colors we're using are Forget Me Not, Lilac Gray, and Bamboo Green, as well as Sparkling Coast Shimmer Clear. So we're gonna be doing this with tape. So this will kind of be a color block tutorial, more so than your normal French dip manicure using a tray. I'm too scared to dip my fingers into dip powder and hope for the best and hope that the side line would be crisp. So I'm just going to do the cheater's way and go in with some tape. I'm only showing you guys this on two of my fingers because it's kind of repetitive. Here's what they look like and now we're going to get into our shimmer clear base. And I'm using the triple vitamin base coat. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys just watch because I'm just gonna be applying this base two times and then we will be getting into the colors. But before I go, I was just wondering, do you guys prefer when I let you just watch and I don't talk or would you rather I fill these spots with me talking? If you would prefer me to talk, then could you please leave some comments below about what you want me to talk about it could be anything it could be my life it could be dip it could be instagram youtube anything like that let me know okay enjoy love you bye see you in a second Okay, now that we are going to be peeling off the tape, um, I'm going to go in and file the lines a little bit because they are imperfect. And I'm just going to get out these little crusties. There's a couple crusties here and there. This is just going to help me stay on a straighter line when I go in with the color. And it's just going to help keep my shape in line. If you leave things like this on your nail, and then you put dip powder over it. The dip powder that you then put over this nail is going to be lumpy. So if you can keep it as nice and clean as possible, then your nails will turn out as nice and clean as possible. You may be wondering why I'm doing this prior to activating and that is because the dip is in its non-bonded state. So it is easier to file at and get all these crisp lines prior to activating. So I also won't have as much work to do. Now for the fun part, we're going to go in with the liquid and I'm going to line it right up to that line that we have there made for us, which is pretty nice and easy to follow. Just try not to get it over the line. And the first color that we're going to be dipping into is Forget Me Not. Again, these are from New Genesis Dip Powders and these colors are from their new spring and summer collection. They retail for $25 and they are two ounce jars. Unfortunately, these colors only come in two ounces. So $25 is your price point for one of these jars. They do, however, have one ounce jars on their website and those are $14. So I think their price point is pretty normal. They are the same price range as Revel for one ounce and two ounce dip powders. So I don't think they're very expensive. You're getting double triple the amount that you normally would with a half ounce jar so i think the price point is perfect it's right where it should be and yeah i really like these powders i just wanted to give new genesis a quick shout out because they did send these my way so this video would not have been possible without these products so thank you again and i hope you like the look i created if you're even watching this hi new genesis all right, that's enough babbling for me. I'm gonna let you guys watch this process and I'll be back in a little bit. Enjoy.
Alright, dipping into my Stun and Moon Crystal Clear Dip Powder and this is just going to clear encapsulate our nail design so that when we file it does not get buffed off or hurt or anything like that. So after I apply this, I'm going to brush off and apply activator and then we are going to buff and file. I am going to be showing you how I buff and file on only one nail today. So. It's a little different. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet for you guys and to the point, but not be boring. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm using the Virgo and Gem activator today. And then after this, we're going to file. The file I am using is the Beauty Secrets 100 Grit file. And then I'm going to buff. I'm using a buffer from Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below. And after that, I'm going to do top coat. The top coat I'm using is my Valentino Beauty Pure Base and Gel Top Coat Combo. And I'm obsessed with that combo, guys. If you are in the market for a top coat slash base, <laughs> then I would definitely recommend these. The shine is freaking immaculate, and I am 
hooked on it even though it takes a little bit longer because i do add the base prior to adding the top coat it's fine it's worth it it's glossy it's beautiful it's drool worthy i promise and it's so worth it but yeah so i'm gonna do that and then i'm going to apply cuticle oil but i'll come back for that part you guys should take a shot for how many times i just said it's worth it it's worth it it's worth it <laughs> um Anyways, I wanted to know, do you guys use base gel and then top coat? Do you guys do that? Is it just me? Am I crazy? Am I weird? I don't know. Most of the time when I'm doing my nails, I just do things. Like, I don't check other sources prior to doing the things that I do. I just kind of wing it because I usually don't have time to look things up because I'm always doing my nails like right after work and I only have a certain amount of time to do my nails. So... I just kind of wing it and random things happen like base and gel top coat combos and hey i'm really obsessed with it so i want to know if anybody else does it or if it's just me or if you guys would try it you guys should try it if you don't do that already i don't know i've just always had a problem with gel top coats like usually when i would just do one just normal gel top coat nothing else it would be lumpy and bubbly and not as shiny but when i put the base on with the gel top coat it's shiny as heck so i don't know i don't understand also while you're in the comments letting me know if you have tried a base and gel top coat combo please like and subscribe if you're not already and hit that notification bell if you want to know when i post and don't worry, it won't take me another month to post because I have two videos coming after this one and I'm so excited for them. They both include some gel designs using dip powder and yeah, I'm really excited. So yeah, here's our gel taco combo and our candy skincare and Beam Me Up Scotty. And then I will show you guys the finished look and that will conclude the video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. I love you. Bye. Also, don't forget to tag me if you recreate this look. Bye.